Today, we have surprising information straight from Charlotte as we dive into the competitive world of NASCAR. Former Joe Gibbs racing driver, Kyle Busch, recently shared his words of wisdom for Xfinity driver John Hunter Nemechik, who has his sights set on a seat in the prestigious Cup Series. Let's uncover the harsh truth and financial barriers that talented drivers face in this exhilarating sport. John Hunter Nemechik was asked about his next step, and some wondered if he should go back to trucks and work his way up. And during a pre-race interview at Charlotte, a reporter asked Kyle Busch's take on John Hunter's future since the Sfinity driver has been a part of Kyle Busch Motorsports. It's no secret that Busch lost his longtime association with JGR due to sponsorship and money-related issues. Hence, laying out the hard truth, he simply replied, and this isn't to be mean or rude or he needs six million bucks and he'll be in a JGR Cup car next year. It's not a success game anymore, it's a money game. So if he can find the cash, then there will be a seat for him, I'm pretty sure. Well, as they say, the truth is bitter but important. Not targeting a particular team or owner, Bush went on to explain how the current revenue model does not allow teams to make enough money. Claiming that there is no other way than to have good funding behind a driver, Bush said that team owners are not making enough money they are willing to invest in their talent pool. To support his case, the Richard Childress driver agreed that the same applies to his seven-year-old son Brexton Bush. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't be racing the stuff that he's racing right now as much as he's racing right now if it wasn't for, you know, the, the Surf Pro sponsorship that we have on Brexton. So um, there's no question that you have to have uh, funding behind you because these owners anymore there's not enough money in the sport that they're making money that they're willing to reinvest it into their their talent pool into their driver pool and, and put it out there apart from this bush also explained how there are only a handful of individuals who have tried to break the mold of being overly reliant on sponsorships naming kyle larson and hms owner rick hendrick he added that he is glad to have some very good sponsors backing him up at rcr this season it seems the racing world has transformed into more than just skill and talent. Financial backing has become a pivotal factor for up-and-coming drivers. As Kyle Busch highlighted, the costs associated with securing a seat in a top-tier team are immense. Young talents like John Hunter must grapple with the challenges of securing substantial financial support to progress in their racing careers. This financial burden extends not only to the Cup Series but trickles down to lower divisions as well. Although at the same time, it's worth acknowledging the individuals like Kyle Larson and Rick Hendrick who have dared to challenge the status quo. Their commitment to nurturing talent, irrespective of financial constraints, is an inspiration to the racing community. That's all for today's episode of NASCAR In and Out on Essentially Sports. Join us next time as we bring you more thrilling stories from the track. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest racing news. Until next time, race on.